So this is a DIY on adding backlighting to your base model switches, your, your drive selection mode switch, and your, your light selection. The hardest part is actually getting the switches out of the dash. It's, I'll do a, a prequel video on how to do that. But once you have the switches out, you, you basically, well, you pull the knob off. This knob is a uh, spring-loaded plastic, so it just pops off. And then you have four tabs here for the cover. Just use your fingernails, pry one tab up and work your way around to the other three tabs. Okay, so you want to be gentle because these are pretty thin. That's what it looks like inside without the LED. I basically just um, took LEDs I had. These are from my old drone racing business. Soldered them onto some leads and hot glued them in there. There's already a hole at the bottom of the switch to feed the wires through. And I suspect, you know, the Yamaha light switch is it's the same exact thing except they have except they have a LED already in there pre-wired. Take the bezel off, put an LED in, and then Yamaha is really nice as the plugs, the caps here that act as weather protectors you can use to create your own harness. All you need to do is go to Corsa and buy the, the male pins. Get both the male and female and get both gauge sizes because they're like 99 cents for like 16. Just buy them and you'll have plenty to last you through your R Max or X2 or X4 and whatever Yamaha you have. So Yamaha provides um, their they're taped with blue tape and they're black connectors, but they're basically identical to this white one. And you take the, the weather plug, convert it to a live plug, and then that's basically what it's going to look like, except this part will be black. Okay. So I have one here. With the pins inside all right and let me uh, hook this up to power if i can find my lead here it is now you can get the leds off of amazon just make sure they're compatible with 12 volts i'm just using one of my lipos to power this I got a blue LED in here. All right. Let me put this uh, back on. And there you go. Blue. And here's one benefit to doing your own is you know, Yamaha uses standard blue, but I use the white LED for the lights. And the reason for that is, let me get this in here. There you go, there's a white LED. The reason why I did that is the less time I, I spend looking at the dials and the more I concentrate on the road my eyes on the road the better so by having my light switch white and my my gear selector or my mode selector blue is that I can real quickly just glance and know which is which versus with them both being blue you know I got to look harder to see which is which and you know you'll eventually have memory effect where you know 
the inside switches, your light and your outsides um, mode selector. But the more things you have to clue off of, the quicker your reaction you have and the less time you spend looking at these switches and the more time you keep your eyes on the road. So some more other things you can do is you can paint the, this white so it's brighter. I may do a mod where um, I, ha I have a disc here and then it has a slit in it and when the LED is lit it only highlights the the mode you're in and it'll black out light to the other position not used. So that's another thing you can do. But that's basically it. Your base model switches it's just missing the LED and you can get anything off of Amazon or what have you. Make sure it's 12 volts. Um, glue it in place and uh, use a blank they provide to as your um, as your connector. So that, that's it.